Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm Wiles and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up any controller you want on Yuzu. Let's get right into it. Alright, so first off you're going to want to get the controller you want to use on Yuzu, which can be anything from an actual Switch controller to even a PS5 controller. Although you can use Joy-Cons on Yuzu, I won't be covering how to set them up in this video because they're a little more advanced, so stay tuned for a video about them in the future. Anyways, once you've got your controller, either plug it in with a USB cord or connect it to your computer's Bluetooth. You can connect it to Bluetooth on Windows 10 by going to the bottom left hand of the screen and selecting the Start button. Then select Settings, and then go to Bluetooth and Other Devices. Here you can add your controller, and once it's done, you should see some sort of controller icon in the list. Now that you've got your controller connected, open up Yuzu and click Emulation in the top left corner of the window. Select Configure, then on the left side, select Controls. Here is where we can set up our controller, or should I say controllers, because Yuzu lets you add up to 8 controllers for certain games. In the top left, you can see what type of controller you're using, which for most people is probably going to be Pro Controller. To the right of that is where you can actually select the controller you're going to be using, which for me is going to be a PS5 controller. Once you've selected your controller, you should now be able to see any inputs you do on your controller on the screen. Test out your controls, and if you're happy with what you have now, select OK in the bottom right corner. If not, click on the button icons on the screen, then press the button on the controller that you'd like to correspond with it. You can save your button layouts by going up to Profile and selecting New, where then you can enter a name for the layout and save it. You can also toggle vibration and motion controls on and off for games that do and don't need them. With that, you've got your controller set up, and it should work perfectly in-game. If you're still having issues connecting a controller to Yuzu, please leave a comment down below because I'd love to help you out. So yeah, that's about it to this video. I hope you enjoyed, and if I did help you connect your controller to Yuzu, then leave a like on this video, and maybe even consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.